I'm Edwin Newman. Speaking freely today is Marshall McLuhan. I'm sure it's not necessary to offer any clues to who Marshall McLuhan is. If there's anybody who does not recognize the name, it should be sufficient to say the medium is the message. However, it might be useful to sketch in a little background. Marshall McLuhan is a Canadian. He's a professor of English at the University of Toronto. He is director at that university of the Center for Culture and Technology. His writings, some of which were done in collaboration with others, include The Gutenberg Galaxy, Understanding Media, The Mechanical Bride, The Medium is the Massage, and most recently, From Cliché to Archetype. Mr. McLuhan, this question is inevitable, I guess. You're probably sick of it. Why is the medium the message? Why is not the message the message? Where would you look for the message in an electric light? Is there necessarily a message in an electric light? There certainly is. Or a candle. The medium and the message are the same. When you think of the medium as a container, you are thinking in visual terms the hidden meaning of a container is the visual habit of man to put something in its place or around something. The visual man has very much an inclination to make things contain things. But visual space has very peculiar properties. Static. Most people think of space as static. As for example, the space between you and me, as something that is constant. That is, between you and me, there are so many inches or so many measures, and that those are the same no matter who's sitting there. To a preliterate man, space has no static properties at all. They're entirely determined by the people or things that are involved in the spatial relationship. So that a person is thought of as creating his own kind of space and not as being inside space. The Preliterate man, the man who lives more by ear than by eye, does not think of himself as being in space at all. There's a delightful little illustration of how preliterate people, children, um, feel space. A child on his first airplane flight said, perhaps as they took off, and climbed higher and higher. He said, Daddy, when do we start to get smaller? 